we connect the bellows to the bag and we inflate the bag with air. So that's like a reservoir of air. And from there, the air is distributed into different parts of the instrument. There's three distinct sounds. I'll be rude here and put my foot up in the chair because we're all on the same level. Um, you're welcome, by the way, to have a look at the pipes later. But there's three distinct sounds. Uh, there's the melody uh, that we play on the chanter, and this would be like a flute or, a, <coughs> um, you know, uh, yeah, a flute, something like that. So we've uh, two full octaves. That's what differentiates this these illum pipes from most bagpipes, uh, because we put the chanter on our knee to on our, to get this on our leg to get the second octave. So you have two full octaves. <coughs> As I know, most bagpipes have nine notes, so we two full octaves, so 16 notes, and you can have keys for sharps and flats, uh, so you can get a, a fully chromatic uh, uh, instrument. So if I play a melody on the chanter, it'd be something like this. with the bellows, pressing with the bag, which controls the, the octaves, and also the intonation, and you know, the, the, the tones, it's a very, I suppose a, you can colour the notes to make different tones. The next part is the drones, which are the constant sound. It's three drones, a tenor, baritone and bass, they obviously get longer, um, the lower they get. Um, so, it, we uh, the, the tenor on its own is tuned to the bo bottom note on the pipes, on the chanter, I should say. It usually is. And then we tune the, te um, the tenor. The tenor is lower, you can hear it there in its own. And then the bass. This is this one here. So the air is coming through from the bellows right through into the, this part here, the stop, where there's the reeds, and they make the uh, they make the sound. I should have explained it about the reeds. The um, in the chanter, um, there's a double-sided reed, a bit like an oboe. I've any year played the old an oboe, but uh, the air that's two pieces of cane wrapped around basically uh, a, a brass uh, tube, and um, they're very difficult to make. Uh, you can make hundreds of them and they won't work. And then you can spend a, a lifetime trying to get one. I've been years trying to get this one. It was recently made for me in America by an expert weed maker. I was very fortunate to get it. So the air goes between the two pieces of cane and it's like blown through a piece of grass or something. Uh, you know, you get that kind of um, tone and then that makes the sound. Uh, anyway, the drones then, so if I play that melody then just with the chanter and the drones, so this is the chanter and then the drones. So it's two distinct sounds. And what makes this instrument uh, quite unique is that we have a third sound, so it's a little bit like an orchestra. We play harmonic and rhythmical accompaniment to the, to what we're playing on the chanter with our wrist. Uh, now this set only has two regulators. Uh, a lot of sets have three regulators, and um, where you can play a full chord like you can on a piano or a guitar, um, and some of them have four regulators. Um, but so this, the regulators are sound like. They use different combinations. It's limited enough because on this particular set, uh, this is what we call a three-quarter set, because um, it, it it doesn't have the toric regulator. But basically, I use my wrist and or my, if I take my hand away, yeah, with my fingers and the slower tunes. So if I play that tune there with regulators, so the chanter, drones, and uh, regulators, you hear three distinct sounds. <laughs> Three sounds of the Ellen Pipes. Okay.
and we use uh, we, we close out the chanter to get the bottom chanter, apply more pressure to get the high higher notes. Thank you.